Hello, I'm Leonardo DiCaprio, and I play Dr. Randall Mindy. I'm Jennifer Lawrence, and I play Kate DiBiaschi. We're gonna take you through a scene from Don't Look Up, shot by shot. The destruction of the entire planet isn't supposed to be fun. From a wedding proposal to a little science experiment, I'm gonna need a temper up and a martini Our later Our last on. guests today have made a pretty big discovery in space. In this scene, Dr. Mindy and Kate are going on to a morning show to try to get the word out about this catastrophic meteor. We had like 15 different cameras pointing at us from every direction, film cameras as well as television. Can I ask you one thing before we go any further? I just have to know this. Is there life out there? Can you tell us yes or no, final answer? I just remember feeling intimidated myself, which I think probably helped for our characters' intimidation because they really look like a couple of deers in headlights. We, we don't have the data, but sure, in, in the vastness of space, why not? Yes, aliens are real. Adam wanted this to be a sort of parody of our culture, so there was tons of improv from every angle, every single actor. It was really kind of an atmosphere for all of us where there were no rules. I'd say most of the improv probably came from Tyler. I <laughs> knew I would like this flying guy. Saucers. Please sure you are, that's what you're saying. <laughs> that's what Dr. he's saying. <laughs> Mindy, we'll never get out of here. It's very funny the way that the public reacts to Kate versus Randall because it says a lot about how people react to um, a hard truth. It's headed directly at Earth, and it really likely will hit. Here they are trying to make this sort of courageous decision to tell the world what's happening. Wanting to hear this information is one thing, but ultimately the people, our interviewers involved, sort of dismiss what we're saying. Will it hit this one house in particular that's right on the coast of New Jersey? It's my ex-wife's house. I need it to be hit. It's somewhere between six and nine kilometers across. So it, it's big. It would damage the, the entire planet. Kate doesn't really know how to beat around the bush. She doesn't know how to sweeten it. You know, she's, she's terrified and you know, she, she needs to just say this horrifying news. Are we, uh, are we not being clear? We're trying to tell you that the entire planet is about to be destroyed. Which, of course, everybody ends up just getting mad at her so that they don't have to really pay attention to what she's saying. Well, it's, um, you know, just something we do around here. You know, we just keep the bad news light. Maybe it's supposed to be terrifying when we're all 100% for sure gonna fucking die! And then Dr. Randall becomes this kind of safe haven. He makes everybody feel like they're in good hands. My character beforehand, you know, was sort of addicted to Xanax for his panic attacks. And I think purely by mistake, he somehow has become a little bit more media savvy through his nerdiness. <laughs> hey, Kate. Is she always like that? Maybe I should have given her that extra, extra Xanax that I had. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, I remember watching a lot of climate scientists trying to articulate what's going to happen to our planet in the sort of mainstream uh, news outlets. And when they start to say the nitty gritty of the trajectory of, of where we're headed, they're forced to say it in a specific way that doesn't bum people out too much. And the way Adam wrote this was such a great analogy of that. Well, the handsome astronomer can come back anytime, but the yelling lady, mm. not so much. Not so much, not so much. And the way that social media takes over at this point, I thought was really poignant. You know, there's also a breakup star of Riley Bina, who's a pop star, which gets, you know, 20 times more likes and views than this news that we're trying to give. The public just chews up Kate and spits her out. You know, they don't want this scary lady who's telling them something they don't want to hear. Your TV appearance got some nice traffic when Ms. Dibiaski cursed. Unfortunately, there was an immediate backlash that quickly became a meme. Oh, oh. Jesus. In today's modern media, everything's sort of getting chopped up into sound bites. And here we have two pretty accomplished scientists that are trying to warn uh, the entire human race of catastrophic events, yet, um, you know, they're being pushed off to commercial. That's the Daily Rip, guys. Have a great day. Check out Don't Look Up now on Netflix. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the Netflix Film Club channel to get our latest exclusive videos.
Plus, hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.